Hi, folks. Dr. Bob McCauley. Um, well, uh, PCOS, okay, um, that's polycystic ovarian syndrome. I, you know, I don't know if you've known. I'm not a woman, so I probably can't address this issue right now. Women get this, and I'm not a woman, uh, no. Um, I'm a man, and, um, and PCOS is, you know, really causes a lot of discomfort in women. Um, so they so they say, and I don't doubt them one bit. I would imagine. And what is that? Polycystic. So a cyst, you know, a cyst is something that gets onto the skin, or you know, on the outside, it's a bump, and that's a cyst. It means there's something going on there with the skin. And here's polycystic ovarian. So might mean there's a bunch of them. Poly polycystic ovarian. Now, doc doctors they will tell you here's what causes that. Here's a, I'm a doctor. I'm a medical doctor. I'm going to say, okay, so what, doctor, what causes that? And they say, well, we're not sure, but, okay, they have no clue. They have no clue because they don't understand health. They understand medicine. And that's why you need a guy like me. And it doesn't matter. I tell people, you can use this same thing for menstrual cramps, the same thing what I'm going to recommend to you. Um, but um, it's, you, you live on, on a really bad diet. You eat a lot of junk. And um, and meaning meaning what what that what I mean by that is you're eating um, you know garbage you know you're eating fast foods you're eating canned foods you know I mean you're eating uh, popcorn and uh, Doritos or potato chips or whatever it is you're eating it's garbage um, and it's affected your lower body and you get it you know women that are like kind of weak they're not really strong. But they're kind of, you know, very feminine and weak, weak, and they get this a lot. So, did the doctors know what causes it? No, not a clue. But that's what causes it, that type of thing, because you're creating all this inflammation down in the lower body below the waist. This is what brings on me menstrual cramps. What menstrual cramps are caused by uh, prost prostaglandins. So that's where you get the word prostate from for the men. So uh, same thing, it gets swollen. Um, with men and um, you know then you can't you can't it kind of cuts off the the urinary tract and so you have to go to the bathroom during the night like t 10 times so if I get up in the night I have to go to the bathroom it's because I have to go to the bathroom I don't have to go up 10 times and just a little bit of urine because I don't have that issue because I don't eat garbage but what I recommend for ladies is if you get uh, you get P PC um, <clears throat> PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Again, syndrome. Syndrome just is a catchword for. It's it's like a disease. We we don't know what it's from. Okay, and there's different types of syndromes, and they just kind of happen. Nothing just happens, folks. Come on, if something's wrong with the human body, something happened to the human body. Something you did to it, and you're it's you know say you're a normal healthy person. Maybe maybe you weren't in an accident or you weren't born with some kind of, um, you know, um, condition to begin with or syndrome. You could say that if you want. Um, you're just kind of a normal human being and um, all of a sudden you got these issues. Well, what I recommend, okay, stop eating. Stop eating for a woman and uh, because what happens when you get, um, you know, your menstrual cycle, you really stop uh, you know, um, you stop digesting your food. You, you, your foods. You know, you, but you should reduce your your food intake by at least one third. Let's put it that way. So, especially if you're eating on a McDonald's diet or fast food diet or junk food diet, this kind of crap, and um, pizza. You're getting pizzas. Stop eating. Stop eating that when you're expect any all the time. But especially when you get in your menstrual cycle because the food just backing up and then these and it and, and you can't digest it and then you get this cramping from the prostaglandins and it's it's like extremely painful for a lot of women they'll tell you i'm not being not a woman i'm not a woman so i wouldn't know what it feels like but i do know what causes it because to understand human health and physiology you don't need to be a woman isn't that amazing and because i asked every woman that i knew and when women that I really didn't know, what do you do when you get cramps? What do you do? Well, you know, I take, I have an herbal formula my mother gave me, you know, I, I have a hot pad, I have this, I have that, I take some herbs. You know, those may be good and it may help, but your problem is inflammation. 
and prostaglandins, which uh, you produce those when you go into your menstrual cycle. But they're at if you look at the amount of prostaglandins you have in your body when you have cramps, they're off the scale. I mean, they're like two, you know, or two and a half, three. It should be like 0.2, 0.1. And so this is really, you're, you're cramping to try to, the uterus is cramping to try to get rid of the, the blood and that kind of stuff. I mean, you're, you know, the menstrual cycle should really take less than an hour once a month. That's a lot of, a lot of women in natural environments will tell you that. I recommend serapeptase. So you stop eating and take two of these right before you go to bed or one. This is a really potent one. This is Serap 150, so 150,000 SPU units, serapeptase units. So here's 150,000. That's extremely high. So you take maybe one or two before you go to bed, especially if you feel bad, and then one or two right first thing in the morning when you get up. And then don't eat anything. Drink water. Drink alkaline ice water if possible. And... Uh, and take and and take that and then don't eat anything for a couple hours let it get down into your lower gi your your small intestines and let it get into the body and um you know reduce that inflammation tremendously and relieve that pressure and then the prostaglandins will stop and your cramps will feel better and the other one you can go with as well is natokinase now natokinase i don't think is is it's really great for certain things like blood clots uh it's great for the lungs but if you're looking for uh, just it reduces inflammation, but not nearly as well as serapeptase. So natokinase is also good. Uh, personally, I would take them both. Um, you know, there's lots of things I could tell you. I could I could recommend bromelain to you. Uh, bromelain is a uh, uh, comes from pineapple. It's an, it's got an, it's another enzyme, bromelain, and uh, very inexpensive, uh, very inexpensive, and something you should take every single day. Reduces inflammation. But let's not get off the track. There's so many things that can reduce inflammation. That's what you're trying to do. You know, that's the body's only response to something that's uh, not being put into it the right way, like junk foods, fast foods. And so it, it gets, it has inflammation. And then, so it takes some ser ser serapeptase. On an empty stomach, stop eating so much. Try to eat more raw fruits and vegetables. Eat some apples. You know, eat some avocados. Eat some, drink some juices. You know, beet, beet and carrot juice is my favorite. But just eat, drink some juice and stop eating, you know, getting up and with all the cereals and the muffins and the bagels. And they taste great, but they're going to lead to all sorts of problems in the body. And in particular, if you have uh, this uh, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is really, it's very common. Every woman knows about this. I'd never heard of it a couple of years ago. Somebody mentioned, what's that? I, you know, I just, I don't have these women issues because, as I said before, believe it or not, I'm a man, and so we don't have those issues, but they really hurt women a lot. So if you have PC, PCOS or if you have your menstrual cramps, it's the same thing. Stop eating, and when you do eat more raw fruits and vegetables, at least till you get past these things. And um, if you've got PCOS, you're on a junk food diet, just admit it, and start eating more healthy more healthy, raw fruits and vegetables, and just remember, there's no bread tree, there's just, there's no pizza tree, okay? There's no spaghetti tree. These are all gonna cause you problems in the long run. Uh, there's no burger tree, <laughs> sorry, there really aren't. They're, they're not out there. But there's an apple tree, and there's an avocado tree, and there's uh, pineapple <laughs> fruit in the ground. So that's what you want to eat. Dr. Bob, see you next time. I just wanna remind you to buy my books. I've got, uh, Eight books on natural health, uh, one on cancer, one on silver, one on water, some other ones. I've been writing books now, believe it or not, 25 years. And uh, go to Amazon.com or Audible. I've got them all on Audible or go to BobMcCauleyBooks.com. But buy my books, please, and review them.